Hi. Hi. Trying to get the fly out of her eye. So, oh, she's got to learn a lot of things, right? She's got to learn about being led. She's got to learn about being fly sprayed. She's got to learn about the vet and the farrier and, and brushing and being touched and loved on and all that good stuff. She's got so here. One of the cool things is yesterday, I love how brave she is. So she wanted to go look at that mounting block. So I'm going to let her. I'm just going to kind of help guide her to that idea again and then let her do what she wanted to do. She's not unfamiliar with the mounting block, but this one is not the same. So I'm going to just give her a little pressure. Give her a little pressure. She learned this the other day, right? The yield's good. Yeah. Good. And did you want to look at that? You changed your mind? That's okay. It's okay. So, let's see how brave she is. You got a cobweb on your nose? Huh? We didn't know it was covered in cobwebs, did we? <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's see. We'll get the cobwebs off of it. <sighs> We didn't know it. Collected cobwebs sitting there, huh? Yeah. So a fun game would be to teach her to push it, right? I could say, I can show, this would be a way of showing her how to follow my guidance and say, here, go this way. Go this way. Good. How about we go up to that ball? Hmm? Yeah, go up to that ball. Good. Give it a little push. Give it a little push. Give it a little push with your nose. Give it a little nudge. Give it a little nudge. Yes, I'm here to help you. Give it a little nudge. Yes. And I might tell her, no, I want you to, there you go. I want you to push on it. So I'm going to tell her I don't want her to leave. I want her to stay right here. I want her to stay right here and engage with that ball. So I might tell her, oop, tell her nose to turn that way. Yes. So I'm just telling her what's important to me. What's important to me right now is that ball. So I'm just helping her know what my focus is. So she can make it her focus. I'm just going to, I'm just tapping the side of her nose to get her nose to turn. Yep. And then I'm going to go ahead and keep her nose turned. Make sure she has plenty of rope. If I'm going to ask her to go somewhere, I'm going to make sure I give her the rope to do it. She doesn't know any go cues. So for me to give her a go cue would, would be kind of something I can introduce today, but it's not something that she's going to properly respond to. Good. Yes. Good. Ask her to look at it one more time, and I'm going to take her away so she understands that we've been sitting here for this reason. Yes. And then tell her nose to go where I need her nose to go. Tell her nose. So I'm just gently doing like what I call a karate chop. Eventually, it'll just be at the air. I won't have to tap her. Tell her where to go. Tell her where to go. Yep. There we go. Nope. Don't pass it. Don't pass it. Back. Back. I'm going to teach her how to back up to the wiggle on the rope. So I'm just going to tell her back. Back. Sometimes I add physical support with that wiggle. Good girl. So with a baby, you don't go crazy with like trying to control their movements and stuff. If she wants to walk around and look around, I'm going to let her. And then I'm going to invite her back over to do something with me. So I might invite her. Where are you going? She was going back up to something. I might invite her to come back and look at this ball. Now I love that she she was see how she uh she thought to spook and, and leave and then she's like, oh wait a minute. I've already seen that thing. I shouldn't be afraid yeah, good girl. I shouldn't be afraid of it. Right there, a nice little spooking place again. I shouldn't be afraid of that. Oop, it touched me, but I know I'm not afraid of it because I've touched it with my nose. I know I'm not afraid of that. Oh, 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 I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I should go up and look at it. Go look at it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's go look at it. So now I'm going to make it important to me. So I'm going to ask her to. The right answer is going to be forward. Okay. So I haven't lost any tension on her line. The right answer is going to be forward. Yeah, yeah. you don't know which way forward, but... So I might introduce my kiss now. My kiss is to, to walk. Good girl. 
there. And then we're going to walk away. So all I did was just tell her that, hey, go check out something that's important to me. So that's all that that was. And so this is my, sooner or later, I'm not going to have any rocks in here, but this was free footing. It came with rocks, but I will get the rocks out eventually. So I'm going to go ahead and ask her again to see, I want her to go look at something that's important to me. Now, when we teach them to look at things that are important to us, that's going to help us on the trails when we want them to go across the stream, when we want them to go over a log. I'm um, not sure why she's backing up and trying to maybe get a running start. <laughs> not sure where you, you feel unconfident. So she's feeling a little unconfident, and this is a very big space for her, and she's kind of like, she never, I never asked her to come in here yet. So I'm going to give her something to do because she just doesn't seem to know what to do right now, so I'm going to tell her. I'm going to let you know that that ball is very important to me. So I'm going to introduce my kiss, which is for her to walk. One single kiss is to walk or to not break out of a trot. Double kiss is a trot. A single kiss would tell a horse not to break out of that trot. Double kiss to get back up in the trot if they do succeed in breaking. And tell her to go forward. Good. I don't care that she didn't go forward in the direction I asked her to because she doesn't know any better. So I'm going to tell her to go forward to that to that ball because that ball is important to me. I want her to know that when I think something's important to me, I want her to make it important to her. I'm just asking her to go forward. One forward step. And that's fine that she didn't go in the direction of the ball. So I did bring the fly spray in here. I taught her about the stop button yesterday, and it's uploading right now, in fact. Um, we had kind of a traumatic day yesterday, and it kind of carried over to this morning as well. But I'm going to go ahead and fly spray her and see if she remembers the stop button. Okay, the stop button is where I spray this into her chest, dead center in the chest. And when I spray it in the chest... I've asked her to stop, and when she stops, the spray stops. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to expand the surface that I'm trying to spray. So I'll spray her shoulder, maybe her neck, her barrel of her belly, her, her rump, and her hind legs are going to be kind of the hardest one. Um, and what I'm going to do is if she starts to get anxious or scared, I'll go back and spray the, um, in the same flow that I've been spraying everything else, I would go back to spraying the chest when she stops moving, which will be an automatic thought. The spray will stop. Now that works with uh, this kind of sprayer, which is a steady spray, or even the spritz sprayer, but the spritz sprayer, you have to continue to spritz, right? It wouldn't be like you stop because she's panicking when you're at the rump, and then you come back and you spray the front. You're going to spray, 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 get back to the front, and then you'll turn it off at that time. I hope that made sense. I was focusing on her trying to engage with me and me not uh, paying attention to that. So I'm going to go ahead and show her. Remember this? Show her. That's the stop button. And then show her. That's the good girl. Oops. It's, it's got also an automatic thing. So, oh, it's still spraying. Sprayed me. Now I'm going to have a headache. It's okay. So start with the stop button. Move. Go back. Start with the stop button, move, go back. So being that she's not requiring me to uh, keep going back to the stop button, I'm not going to soak her chest. I did that yesterday. But we see we got somewhere. Good. We got somewhere yesterday. So you see the rope is, is completely reliant on her standing here and, and trying. So I'm, go, I'm just going to point it. I'm not spraying it. I'm just going to point it at her chest and see if that works. So, good. I'm going to give her a little break from that. So, I mean, the fact that she's being so good, I have to show her that, look, there's nothing to it. Like, it's not a torturous moment. I'm not going to ask you to stand here and be tortured. But I am going to come back and do more. But I just wanted her to kind of digest what I just did and maybe let a little of that mist go down, right? So she, I'm going to say if I was to determine already at this age what her sensitive side is going to be, her sensitive side is going to be her right side. Um, doesn't mean that that will stay true forever, but I'm pretty sure that we're going to have our weaknesses are going to be on her right side. She's most sensitive and most protective of her right side. 
So I'm going to tell her to stop. Isn't that cool? <laughs> yeah, stop button's pretty cool, huh? Yes, it is. Hmm? So try to keep a loose line. Look at her saying, oh, I don't want to leave. Good job. And now I leave. You know, I don't, I don't stay there and torture her. I leave. I reel myself back in. So see how she's scared? But watch, I can make her stop. <laughs> She's a good girl. She's a good girl. I'm just going to do your back legs and then we're done. Which, that was the hardest part yesterday was the back legs. She didn't like how that felt. So, watch. I can make her stop. <laughs> it's a good girl. I'm going to call that good. Right? We're going to call that good. We spent a lot of money on fly spray yesterday. We're going to call that good today. Yeah. There. Okay, so that was that. Let's see how brave she is. Let's do something with her to show us how brave she is. Here, here. So my here is come. So I'm going to ask her to come. Here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my line, hand down the line, and then I'm going to actually press down, which is going to put pressure on her pole and invite her to come to me. I'm not going to pull on her. I'm going to put pressure on the line downward. So, again, oh, <laughs> I don't need to. She's learning the draw. She's learning the draw. She's a good girl. So I also taught her she likes my breath. <laughs> and it's really not that she likes my breath. It's not that I ate something really yummy before I came here. It's because uh, it's like my fingerprint it's, um, became something that will help her kind of process that I'm, I'm the safe zone, right? So that, okay, good girl. So she's learning the draw. So a draw is when you pull your belly button away. So if I keep pulling my belly button away, I should be able to draw her. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. You wanna see how brave you are? How about we drag out something else covered in cobwebs? Should have thought this one a little bit more through. How about we drag out something else covered in cobwebs? And see how brave you are. Yeah. How brave are you? Let's see. Excuse my cobwebs. What do you think? You can't get the cobwebs off your nose. Huh? So I'm allowing her to kind of do whatever she wants and also offer her a sense of guidance when she loses her way. So losing her way would be that she just didn't continue to follow me. I should go get a broom. <laughs> the worst part about cobwebs is you don't know where the spider actually is. Right? So are we going to get lucky enough for her to just say, I'll go through that. Let me add it. Let me add it. I'll go through that. So... So she's starting to learn my kiss means move forward, right? So kiss means move forward. Now, can I tell her to move forward away from me? So push. Good. You're right. So I did find an itchy spot earlier that she leaned into, so we kind of found a way to be friends, right? Kind of funny. We did. We found a way to be friends. Okay. So, can I ask her? Let's see how brave she is. I'm not going to put a lot of pressure on her. I'm just going to let her sort it out. Just going to keep showing her where the center is. That's the only, only guidance I'm going to give her. She doesn't not want to do it. She just doesn't know how to. So I'm just going to show her the center. Right there. That's it. Right there. Okay. Here. Here. So again, even still now, I can press down. Good. When she changed her mind with the back feet is why I released. So I'm going to ask her again. Press down. Here. Here. 
here, here, here. So now I'm going to actually, I'm going to offer a grip. Now the grip is just going to say, I'm going to release as soon as her front feet move. Or her back feet. Yes. So when she gave with her neck, because her neck was where the resistance was, I gave back. I'm going to see if I can get a back foot to move. Usually the back feet will move closer before. Good. So the, I, res I released when she made an effort back towards the noodles. Here. 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 I'll release when she makes an effort back forward. Here. Here, 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 here. I'm not going to pull, so I'm not pulling. Good. Good. Now, she got brave. Look, look, look at how brave. Good girl. Good girl. What a good girl. I'm so proud of you. And there's my lick and chew to say, oh, my God, it didn't kill me. I feel pretty great about that. Good. So I don't think... There's ever an age that you can't do puzzles with your horse. Um, it may be puzzles like this, which is just, how brave are you? That could be the puzzle. How brave are you? Are you brave enough to go through these? Can you do it again? Now she should do it a little bit more confidently. Here. 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 So, I'm press down. Oh, look at her think. Did you see her think? She thought her, oh, well, I have a camera view over here, so let's do this camera view as well. Let's see if we can go from this direction. Here. 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 Yep, good. Good. Here. Here. So it's coming from a different angle can make it a little harder, but this really isn't out of a different eye. She's got both eyes on it coming from either angle, so this wouldn't be quite as hard as if I was asking her to do something Strictly out of a different eye. Good girl. Good girl. Look at you being so brave. Did you like a little scratch for that? Huh? Right there. Where is it? No, we don't. That's not. Go look. Never, ever, ever stop them from checking things out and being brave. Like, I don't know what attracted her to there. Maybe it was the water from spraying down the arena. The splash on the pavement that made her want to go look at that. But I'm not going to tell her that she's wrong for wanting to look at that. And I'm not going to try to stop her from checking things out. The more you let them be curious, the braver they're going to be. And she's already proven to be here. Pretty brave. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm, how brave. Let me see. Come here. Let me see. I want to see something. How brave could you be if I put that ball right in the middle and I asked you to push it? Can you make that important to you? Come on. Here. So she was going to come with me a little bit anyway, but when I turned my belly button to her and said, here, it made the difference. All right. I'm going to go ahead and ask her to turn to the ball. And see if she'll push that ball out of her way. And tell her that ball is important to me right now. Ooh, 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 ooh. Good. What do we got to do? What do we got to do to make that ball go? Yeah, we have to push it. Yeah, we do. We have to push it in order to get out. So go ahead, let's see. How do you get through there? So I'm going to gently, she's sensitive nose, there we go. I caught her off guard last time. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to kiss for forward. I might go ahead and invite her this way. Yep. <laughs> okay. Can you push that ball out of your way? Hmm? Yeah, you can. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Give it a little push. 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 Can you push that ball out of your way? Huh? Here. So we're just going to tell her, 
right through there is, the, is your way through. So you can push the ball or you can find that opening. Whichever works best for you. Nope, not around, not around, not around. So I'm going to tell her to get back in that direction. So I'm going to ask her shoulder to move. So she's got her body pointed in the right direction. So I'm going to just tell her shoulder. Her shoulder needs to move. Tell her shoulder to move. And as soon as she gives to that pressure, both rhythmically on her shoulder pushing and rhythmic and steady on her pole pulling. So I'm just going to ask her. So I'm just going to wait on her. I'm not going to get any louder. I'm not going to get any tougher with her. Just going to sit here and say, wouldn't you like that to stop? Kind of annoying you, right? I'm just kind of annoying you. How can you make that stop? Huh? How can you make that stop? You could probably make that stop by moving in the direction of that feel, right? Yep, there you go. You're getting the right idea. There. That was all. Yes. You come through there. There you go. There you go. There you go. I'm going to go through there again. Come here. Come this way. Come on. We're going to go there. Uh, here. 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 Good. Here. Good job. What a good baby. What a good baby. All right. Well, sugar. We're going to go ahead and try something else. Can we try something else? I bet ya. Let's see. We'll move these out of the way. I bet you we can just move right along and all kinds of spooky things, right? Let's see. How's about we try something really scary? Right? Let's try something really scary. Now, I've watched clinicians where they put it in this tiny little thing, try to get the horse to step on it, and then they try to open it up. I just assume show them what, what it is, right? Like, let them, let them see the whole picture. Don't just keep giving them little cookies of it, little crumbs of it. Show them the whole cookie. So, I'm going to go ahead and show her all of this. Look at how brave she is. She's a brave little girl. Got a good one, Kelly. This is a good hunter pace prospect because she's not afraid to go check things out right off the bat. Right? She's all in right away. Okay, so can I ask her to just step on that? Whoa, whoa. She froze. She's like, wait a minute. I made funny noises. All right, ready? Come on. Let's do it. You can run across if you gotta. So here, here, here. So she's already learned here, 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 yep. Here, here, yep. Here, this makes a funny noise. Here, you're a good girl. So I'm gonna grip and just hold, I'm not pulling. There's no pull in my arm. Here, when she takes a step forward, which I, re I released for that effort. Yep. I know. Crazy, right? Here. 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 So she just made a decision about her back feet, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to go ahead and let her follow through with that decision. Here. Here. You got it. I saw you. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Follow through. You got this. Here. I saw you. I saw you decide. I saw you decide. Come on. Here. Here. Again, I'm not pulling. We're just at a, a point of resistance. Yep. So, try again. going to help guide her in the direction I want her to go and then allow her to figure the rest of it out. So I'm at the point of resistance. The only thing I would do different is I would just keep bringing in the slack. Yeah, you did such a good job. 
Yes, you did. There's that itchy spot right there. Right there it is. Hi. Good girl. Yeah, we're not we're not ready to hug yet. That's okay. She thought about it though, and then it made her nervous. She keeps thinking about that hug. Made her a little nervous though. Right? She thought about the hug. Yeah, you did. You thought about it. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Hi. It's okay. We don't have to hug yet. Okay. Can I get her to follow the feel around her body? Ask her to come back over this. Here. Here. My bent over is an invite, like you would call a puppy to you. Kind of the same concept. Good job. Okay, I know your neck is itchy. What about under your throat? Is your throat itchy too? Huh? Yeah? Where else? She's trying to tell me, but I can't I can't pick the right spot. Right there. Right there. Oh there. Right there. I'm sure behind your ears, but you probably aren't. Oh yeah, you did like that. Okay. Note to self, she does like her ears rubbed. Come here. Good. All right, let's take it up a notch. Why hold her back? All right, why hold her back? Let's take it up a notch. You know how many big horses can't even do this kind of stuff without a lot of work? I love how brave she is. You need to make that a little snugger. Okay, sweetie. Ready? Here. She's like, alright, I don't really get it. I'll keep coming. Coming that way, I guess. Here. Just help her know where the entrance is. Good. Here. Here. Alright. So I think she kind of proved that we're on the right track. She's good at following directions. She's good at following uh, the confidence that's coming from me, bringing her confidence to be brave in her own nature because she's already a very naturally brave little girl. Uh, yeah, you want to check me out? Let me see. And I do a lot of this kind of stuff. I'm going to end up with a pretty dirty butt. But I do a lot of sitting with them and let them kind of check me out. Um, she'll come over probably and see if she can get a little breath on me. Because that, like I said, that's like my fingerprint to her now. Right? That's my fingerprint right there. I know. You're allowed. Yes, you are. You're allowed. Hi. Hi. And I just say my hi is with a lot of air. Hi. 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 And they love that. A good way to bond, right? Can you come and get my lap? Hmm? You can come get my lap. Are you going to show me where that itchy spot was? Uh, right there. Is that where it was? Yeah. Hi. She's a nice little girl. Had a pretty rough 24 hours, huh? Yeah. We met a little boy. He's only a couple months older than her. But he wasn't very nice, was he? He wasn't very nice. He kicked me in the face. And then his older brother, he started pushing me. You can get in my lap? What are you going to do? He started pushing me around too, so this nice lady took him away also. And I think I understand I'm going to get a babysitter, but it's not going to be another baby. Right? You're going to get a friend, but it's not going to be another baby. And then maybe when... Bentley bonds with her, then maybe he'll look out for her and you know, because I know when I put Bentley and Dewey in with Logan and Teddy, Bentley was very protective of Dewey. So and he stood up to the big horses. So if he was willing to stand up to the big horses, I'm sure he'll stand up to the little ones for her. This is so valuable to do with your horse, especially if a new a new horse to you. I mean, obviously, if you don't know if your horse will eat your hair like she's trying to do. <laughs> If you don't know that they're going to do that, then, you know, you can sit outside the pen. You know, if you think that you're, you don't know your horse well enough and it's a horse that's expressed some kind of aggression, um, it's still valuable, still valuable stuff to sit and just be. Um, we don't sit and be enough in life, let alone with animals. Right? I know. Just don't bite my ear off.
I like my ears. <laughs> I swear she keeps acting like she's going to climb on my lap. All right. Well, I'm going to call that a day. I'm very pleased with her. Um, and uh, hopefully if you're here and you want to see more of her, you'll mention that in the comments. I don't know you're here unless you comment. All I see otherwise is uh, a little eyeball. And it just tells me how many eyeballs. It doesn't tell me who those eyeballs belong to. So if you're here, mention that you're here in the, the comments, and that would really help me out knowing who's watching, right? I'm almost tempted to play with her feet. She's like, what else can we do? What else can we do? We should do something else, right? We're not going to, though. Should I get your back feet one more time? Hmm? Should I get your back feet done one more time? Yeah. What do you think? You ready? You want to go back outside? Yeah. These flies are attacking me now, too. All right. So I'm not unhappy with her. And uh, Kelly, if you're checking in, I just thought I'd let you know I like her. I might change my mind about not wanting a filly. Just saying. No, just kidding. I promise. I promise you. I will not be begging you to buy her yet. Okay. She's a sweetie. She's pretty neat, aren't you? For a little girl who had kind of a little rough start with other little horses that didn't like her for whatever reason, um, I'm pretty happy with who she is right now. Yeah. She's even getting where she lets me brush her. She's got fly spray remnants all over her. All right, so I keep saying goodbye, but haven't said goodbye. Okay, come on. I'm going to see if she can follow the feel of that along her body. What a good girl. Cool beans. Cool beans. <laughs>